Sebastian Carousel, located here at Como Park next to the conservatory, has quite the history. Peter Bohm, who's president of Our Fair Carousel, tells us more. Well, the carousel was made in 1914 by the Philadelphia Toboggan Company. A fellow named Austin McFadden made a deal with the state fair that year to bring a carousel and a, a roller coaster to the fairgrounds. And he ordered it in April of that year, and it was delivered new uh, in, and put up in time for the fair to start in uh, September. It was there for 75 years. Uh, the fair originally was just six days and started after Labor Day um, and then changed to the longer run of 12 days. But uh, in the 75 years that the carousel was at the fair, it really ran only the equivalent of two or three years of what a normal carousel would have gotten in daily operation. Well, the owners at the time uh, decided they, they ran into a dispute with the fair board and they decided that they would break the carousel up and sell it piecemeal. And they had uh, um, put 20 horses in an auction in New York in December of 1988. My wife and I read about it in the newspaper and she said over dinner that night, this is terrible, someone ought to do something. And uh, so we started the organization. To, uh, we figured there were a lot of other people like us who'd like to do something to save this carousel and keep it here in the community. We ran the carousel one more year at the fair in 1989, and then we took it apart. We renovated the machinery, and we brought it to Town Square, where we opened in uh, November of 1990. Uh, we ran in uh, Town Square until 1996. Uh, you may recall that Town Square was at one time a shopping mall. Uh, as the shopping left town and it became more of a, an office building, uh, the carousel was less attractive as a partner there. And so we began in 96 to look for a new location. A lot of negotiation with the city of St. Paul and a lot of figuring about how we we're going to find the money to build such a wonderful building. This building cost $1.1 million and, uh, and that money had to be come up with before we could start the project. And, uh, so we've, uh, we've been working on that. The largest contributor is the man for whom the carousel has been named, Jerry Kefestian. Uh, Jerry was an executive at West Publishing Company, now retired and living in Florida. Uh, but Jerry donated 600000 toward the original purchase of the carousel, 500000 more for the construction of this building, uh, and along the way another $150,000 for various other enterprises. Uh, he's been a wonderful contributor. The carousel's 68 horses and two chariots are wearing mostly their original paint. This carousel is one of three operating carousels in the United States believed to be wearing its original paint. When, uh, when we discovered that the carousel had so little use, one of the most attractive things about it was that the paint that had been put on in the factory by Gustav Weiss uh, a German immigrant living in Philadelphia in 1914. Uh, one of the nice things was that we could preserve all of the paint that, uh, that he'd put on. You could see it in probably about 70% of the, of the surface area on all of the horses on the carousel. Um, very few carousels run in original paint because it's thought to be pretty fragile. But we did a lot of research in chemistry uh, to find the appropriate materials to use so that we could uh, get a new varnish. The old varnish had turned brown over time. All of these horses looked brown. There were none of the dapple gray that you see now. Um, and uh, all of the, uh, the trappings of the horses had become discolored also. Varnish traps dirt, so as well as turning yellow or brown, and shading the colors underneath, uh, the dirt got trapped in it and that made it even worse. Um, but we removed all of the uh, overpaint, that is the stuff that was not original, and you do that like you clean a fine painting. You do it about a couple of square inches at a time. You lay in some chemical and you leave it for a specific amount of time and then you neutralize it and scrape off all the residue so that you can preserve the stuff that's underneath. To date, we've had about 800 volunteers in the project. Now, some of them, like the uh, local 110 electricians union, came over to help us in 1990 to rewire the carousel to bring it up to current code. Um, we've had other groups that have come in for a specific project, 
But we also have volunteers who come here on a daily basis in the summertime uh, and sell tickets, sell gifts, um, actually run the carousel. And it's a, it's a fun occupation. And if they're interested, they should call the carousel's number, 651-489-4628, and explain that they're interested in volunteering, and we'll send them the uh, appropriate uh, information by mail. Or they can visit our website at www.rfaircarousel.org and go to the volunteer page and communicate with the volunteer director that way.